just, just avoid. Don't look at my teeth. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? The judge called me mentally ill. <laughs> I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a video from the FOIA Fool of Illinois. And let me tell you, this is a video that you're not going to want to miss because it shows his true colors. It really does. And what he thinks about military personnel and veterans who fought and died for his freedom to say the stupid stuff that he does. So let's sit back, relax, have a good laugh at this fool's expense, and enjoy the show. Another agency sent me phone logs and they did not, they sent me 192 pages of phone logs, calls in and calls dialed out, which is a beautiful thing. They did not redact nothing on there, nothing. And this is the amazing thing about some of these little towns and some towns in general is that you could request something, they're required by law to redact unique identifiers. Some towns would send you the people's social security number. I'll take things that never happened for 500 Alex because I truly doubt that a town clerk is gonna send somebody's social security number out to somebody other than that person I doubt they could even probably send it to that person without getting in trouble or possibly a lawsuit against them so I really highly doubt that really happened and as far as the hundreds of papers that you requested that is ridiculous grow up get a life get a job there is absolutely no need to waste somebody's time for what you said 200 pages i believe of phone logs how ridiculous ridiculous is that and you know the sad part is you probably read every word on each page word for word all 200 pages which is even more pathetic but hey you are a pathetic little individual They'll send me those records, including the Cesar's social security number. Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. I had that in the past. They sent me public record requests with the person's social security number on it. Or it was redacted, but it wasn't redacted all the way, or it was still show visible. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? <laughs> And sometimes no redactions whatsoever. Man, this is some bullshit! Boo this man! So what I'm saying here is that I give it some time to clear off. Let's say, for example, a few assessors reach out to a city hall and want to sit there and gossip with the employees. I give it a six months. I give it a year. So these employees, they think they feel comfortable talking to assessor. Oh, yeah, this and that. But then a year down the line, they forget. And they send me that stuff with no redactions. Now I got the assessor's uh, phone number, which I'm going to cross-reference their address. I'm going to go knock on their door and hand them a piece of paper. Oh yes, just like you said in the other video, you're going to get all their information and legally dox them. Which, I don't know how you could legally dox somebody, but hey, you know what, more power to you. And you know what's going to be funny? You're going to take all that information, you're going to knock on their door with a piece of paper. They're going to open a door, look at you laugh at you and then you know what's going to happen they're going to slam the door right in your face and you know what hey after all you did a dr dave with your doxing and false copyright strikes and not only you did that to him but you false copyright strike a video of mine which came right, right back up which was pointless but hey you know what you're a coward and you talk tough for the camera but in all reality you're just a small little man with a small little mind this is the only way that's not talked about nowhere in the world on how to put our country, the United States, the greatest country in the world, back in the hands of critical thinkers. Instead, they want to send you off. Here's, here's what they want to do. They want to send you off like they did in Iraq. They sent off, and you know, I, I, uh, I, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm impressed at the soldiers who went to the war who uh you know had that the courage to go through that but i don't respect the fact that they fought a bullshit war and uh, they they killed innocent lives so instead the government wants to send you folks off with weapons to go commit murder right think about the logic there so what what is more powerful 
somebody going, a soldier going to somebody else's country for a fake war, which has been proven it was fake. Um, to go and kill other people, that's what they did. They're serial, some of them are serial killer. This fool is so out of touch with the reality, it's amazing. It really is. It's amazing how people this stupid and out of touch survive this long, isn't it? And he's calling military, not only military personnel, but veterans, murderers. Well, hey, sweetheart, I got something to tell you. Unfortunately, you have to follow orders from the chain of command, unless it's an unlawful order. Or is it more effective to check government with the pen is mightier than the sword? That, that's what it is. The pen is mightier than the sword. The real wars, and you could ask many people this, the real wars in the United States were the, were the wars of our founding fathers. Even though this land was, was took and theft. Um, the real people, the real, the real fighters here are the fighter who's going to win with words. Not win with a sword or win with a gun. Let's take for instance George Bush when he was in office. George Bush sent troops over. But then you'll have people here believe that the, the soldiers that went and invaded Iraq... <laughs> did that to protect your rights here, right? They, they're, they're proud they killed Muslims and they proud, they're proud they killed uh, brown people. And there's videos of that, disturbing videos. It's just like the IOF, the cowards at the Israeli occupying force. Those are straight cowards. There's so many videos of them mocking Arabs, mocking Arab females wearing their bras and shit like that. You know, you brought up a very good point for you, fool of Illinois about cowards and let me ask you this do you think cowards are people who lob grenades and mortars over into another neighbor country and then when the neighboring com country retaliates those cowards that first fired the shots run into churches hospitals schools to avoid the strikes now i want to know who is the real coward Right? Who's going to come in here and try to justify the Iraq war? The Iraq war. Where they, like I said, they murdered over a million innocent Iraqis. You folks don't give a fuck. They're brown people. They're Muslim. Most of them are Muslim. And you guys still double down. There's some folks that still double down. And, uh... All, all my videos, most of my videos, I put them in membership only. They're only posted up for a little bit. You can chop, squeeze, anything you like. But you're going to stand with reality. I am against violence. I am against evil. I am against oppression. If, you're, if you claim that you were in Iraq war and you murdered innocent women and children and you believe you're a hero, you're not a hero. You're a serial killer. What are you doing in Iraq? Oh, weapons of mass destruction. That was a fairy tale. And you dumb flakes felt for it. <laughs> well, anyway, to get back on topic here. Hold on a second. I am, I am really confused here. You just said you're against violence, oppression, and evil. But yet, you have the nerve to file fake and frivolous copyright strikes against creators that go against your thought process. Now, how is that, how is that fair? You know, it's okay for you to have your thought process, but when somebody else decides to criticize you, oh, no, no, they're evil. I'm going to dox them. I'm going to sue them. I'm going to just call them out all over YouTube. No, it don't work like that, buddy. Um, we're investigating, and we're going to pick up some additional things, too. I'm going to start investigating the Veterans Affair as well. How about we start investigating the Veterans Affair? How about we start individually proving that some of these military soldiers that went to Iraq... Let's pull their records and see how many, how many people they murdered. How about we talk about that? How about I pull out a DD-44 from the specific, what started all this, from the specific, uh, from the specific, uh, soldier that claims he got a DD-42 that's sending me death threats and racial, this is what started all this. He sent me death threats and racial slurs against Arabs and Muslims. I'm, I'm a Christian Arab, but I still, you know, I still got a heart for others as well. So, um, what about if I request his DD and I public rec record request to find out how many people he murdered? 
for him to sit back behind the keyboard like a coward, think he's anonymous, to send me death threats. While at the same time, he's a serial killer and claims he should be respected in the United States of America. He fought for our war. How dare you disrespect our, our, our men in blue? He's, he fought, he's to protect our rights here in the United States. Oh, well, you, you, would, you bootlicker would not ask him the simple question, how many women and children has he murdered? Hey, FOIA full of Illinois. Hey, I sleep very well with my DD-214. That is not DD-42 or DD-44. There is no such thing as that. It's a DD-214. And how dare you claim that the veterans and people that are in the service are murderers killing women and children. Yes, you know what? It does happen. There is casualties of war. and Unfortunately, it does happen. But here's the thing. The people are not going out just killing women and children and let's let's use an example let's say iran well if you're gay or you're a lesbian or transgender you can't go over that country because they'll kill you and if you're born in that country that way you're going to get killed or beaten or jailed do you think that's fair no not at all you and people are whack jobs but the good thing is sure let's get his dd44 or whatever that's called for the one who's sending me death threats and let's find out how many people he murdered the same goes to the police this is foreign and domestic same goes to the police a police officer wants to come and act like a tyrant great job let's look did he have does he have any murders on uh career if so he does have a murder let's read why his uh, his uh description Oh, this guy, I believe, pulled out a, a knife in the middle of the road, 2 o'clock in the morning, therefore I shot at him, and 9 shots, and this and that. Oh, 9 shots, okay, now this seems excessive. You know, we gotta narrow it down. And this is a topic that's not being talked about. Why is Benjamin Netanyahu the only one, why is Benjamin Netanyahu the only one who has arrest warrants against him, and he's a foreign coward? Why isn't there no, why isn't people working on an arrest warrant for George Bush? for the war crimes he committed in Iraq. What about if we start claiming that some of these soldiers that went to Iraq that are proven to be serial killers when we get their DD-40 and their record and show how many people they killed, why don't we charge them with war crimes too? Why don't we open that packet up? Since people wanna talk about respect and not respect, let's talk about statistics and reality. You know, this is an evil world and we're filled with evil, deceptive people. You are absolutely 100% correct. There are evil people in this world, and you are one of them. You are a little man with a small man complex, and I really feel bad for you. I truly do. I really feel bad for you because you could be enjoying life, but yet you want to worry about FOIA logs and phone calls and BS nonsense like that and worried about papers that are prominently displayed on a bulletin board. Which, unfortunately, I, I hate to break this to you, people don't care. Not a lot of people go into a town hall and look at the clipboard or look at the bulletin board. That are blind, and that's why, the, that's why this nation is running smooth off people's ignorance. To keep people dumbed down and keep paying these paid provocateurs. Okay, what if we start doing that if I start holding up signs saying, I want to open back up the records of uh, uh, Iraq war and find out what that was all about? Right? I want to find out which soldiers, uh, how many how many bodies they have. Are they still roaming these streets? What's their condition now? Are they homeless? This and that. You know, like I said, uh, I, I salute the, the soldiers uh, for their courage of going to war, waking up early every day and leaving their family and believe that they're fighting for this country. But at the same time, that was a fraud show. Specifically, I'm specifically speaking of the Iraq war. That was a fraud show. Because there's a million people died from that war that our tax dollars went to. So then again, now we're going to start going and investigating the veterans affairs. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now they want to send, they want to send U.S. soldiers to go fight Israel's war. Israel needs backing from the U.S. soldiers. I guess the next war that's going to happen, which sadly I have to say is most likely probably going to be World War III, the way this world's turning. Unfortunately, I guess they're not going to be able to shoot the enemy because they're going to have to tell the enemy, oh, I can't shoot you because the FOIA full of Illinois is going to FOIA my record, call me a murderer, saying I killed women and children. 
all this nonsense. For some sensor to come and tell me, you don't this, you don't do this, and you don't do that. Hey, for you keep yapping, you, I'm going to pull your DD-47 and see how many people you murder. You specifically, I'm going to talk about you fully and freely. These people are, are wicked. Wicked. Like I said, it, it's a great thing. Okay, say, say for example, the, the soldier believed in 2001 he was going to war the right way and right, fight the right cause. But the minute he got there and found out that it was wrong and he shouldn't, he shouldn't murder innocent people for the rich... To, to steal oil and do all that other shit, theft, he should at that time either quit or tell his higher ups that he quit. He shouldn't he shouldn't engage in in think about it guys. A million deaths in Iraq war. One million people. Should we just leave that uncovered? It's nowhere in history talked about. Let's open those. Let's backtrack. Let's find out who the soldiers were. And then most importantly, let's charge George W. Bush with war crimes. Let's put out, let's contact the International, war, uh, cri International Court of Justice, just like they're calling Israel government a, 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 a war criminal, an illegal settlement. This is International Court of Justice and Criminal Court of International... So these are the world is saying that Israel is a war crime. Finally, humanity is waking up. Finally. But at the same time, should we excuse George Bush and his cronies? No, I think they should put a, uh, an arrest warrant on George Bush. I love that. Oh, just up and quit. Well, I hate to tell you this, but you're under contract. You just don't have the opportunity just to up and quit. And about the deaths, you know, I do agree. One death is way too much. You know, I wish we didn't have any casualties, but unfortunately, it's a fact of life when there's a war. People are going to die on both sides. I'd rather the other side suffer the most. Well, that's enough of his nonsense. I just cannot believe that somebody truly said that about military military personnel and the veterans, that they're murderers, murdering women and children. That is disgusting, and that's vile, you know. I Like I said, it does happen in combat, you know. There's casualties of war, but it's not purposely done like this fool thinks it is. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, share, and most importantly, help me out, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for watching. I'm mentally ill for audit. Hey! <laughs> it's Captain Happy. God damn it. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. The jaywalk. <laughs> <laughs> The judge repeatedly called me mentally ill. I'm on a public sidewalk, bro. <laughs>